What is going on guys? Kenny Kawai here, and we're back with some more going to the past. I mean, staying in the pre back to the future. Now, what was I doing? What was my objective? Crap, I forgot. I only played this game yesterday and I don't know what I'm doing! Okay, so what did we do? We gave the subpoena to Artie. Oh yeah, I need to get the alcohol for Emmett. So, let's, uh... Let's have a like-free wander over to the soup kitchen. Hopefully. Maybe. Can we do that? Game? Is that okay? Can we do that game? Thank you. Oh my god, loading screens. Is something gonna happen? I can't... Hey! Oh yeah! Okay, Emmett's here. We can do stuff now. Oh, I wonder what's hey, in those barrels. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ugh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Okay, so none of that was suspicious at all. Let's uh, let's go have a chat over with Emmett. Hey, what the fuck? What you doing, boy? Oh yeah, right. Okay. Does he really need his gun to do that? Can you get a stick or something? Oh, <gasps> elevators! Stuff is happening. Okay, so that obviously happened, so that's a clue as to what we need to do. Okay, let's uh, continue back this way. Let's just sneak in the back door, why not? Surely this should work. Hey, oh, okay. Plan failed. We can't do this. This is game. End of the game, guys. We, we've been trapped. We can't do it. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Well, thankfully, we have a scientist up, who can help us. Oh, just listen up for a second. Do it. Uh, I can't get in the kitchen. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Coast? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Very well, we now need to leave him to it and do some stuff over here. So, let's have some soup while we wait. Bowl uh, of crummy soup. Excuse me. Yeah. Do I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? It's empty. What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Ass! I was gonna say weak old cabbage. It tastes like Everyone's ass! Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Have you tried adding some ass? To add to your ass soup? Uh, chili powder. Why not? Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, <laughs> like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? I like that word. I'm going to use that word a lot more often. Moxie. Like Mad Moxie from Borderlands.
Okay, then, so now while he's doing that, we need to hit Eureka. this pipe. And Emmett's done whatever he's doing. <clears throat> and now the point and click logic does that. Because that makes sense. A lot of fucking sense. Ah! Person. Ah, Miss Strickland. Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And then picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. Okay. So let's uh, go back to Emmett because he did something or other. Hey, dude. Dude. Em, em, let me click on Emmett. Thank you. Emmett. Yes? A nice door jam. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah. Good job. Fantastic. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Cogit what the fuck does cogitating mean? Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. Wait, I think I've pretty much, I think we've done in here anyway. Tables are propped up now. Yeah, I think we've done in here. I, I accidentally did stuff. But anyway, let's leave. We need to go get the uh, the alcohol from uh, Edna. So let's go do that right now. Ah. <sighs> I've restocked on coffee, guys. I'm not going to pass out anytime soon. Uh, okay, let's go talk to Edna. Hey! Hey, slut! What you doing? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Harry Callahan. I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Uh, I have no charity that needs a soup delivery. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? Uh, um, me, me. Uh, rest home. The uh, rest home. No, it's way past their bedtime. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the stay sober? Society? What's the stay sober society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members, and not to say that I was ever well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know where the Stay Sober Society can meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. I just said that, Marty! Where? At the Brown Residence. The Brown Residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? That's right. I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for... You know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Fantastic. Um... You asked me to... There's somebody... The Stay Sober Society. The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. Hmm. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! Harry! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! What do we know about these people? Uh, they're sober! <laughs> they're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. She can wear earplugs. Get your dad a pair of earplugs. I can't tell my father to wear earplugs! He has no ears! I'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. 
You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! Hey, 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 hey. Okay, forget the whole hey. thing. We don't have to test your rocket-powered drill tonight. We don't? No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! Ooh, burn. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. <whistles> Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! God damn it, Harry, how could you not figure that out? I mean, Marty. I mean, Doc. Michael. I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Except Doctor Who. What?